Alrighty guys, as you can see, I've got uh, everything I need to get started here. I also have my uh, smaller drone, uh, the Hubson H501E. And this is the best place I could find. I know there's a lot of uh, like lights up here, but none of these are on, so they shouldn't have uh, any kind of magnetic field right now. Um, and this is the straightest area. I couldn't do it at the golf course because unfortunately there was just too much activity. So I ended up going down to the park here. And uh, we're going to go ahead and fly as far as we can. That way we'll get above those lights and then we'll just take it out. I tried to find some high ground so it was a little easier to get reception um, without having all the trees interfere. But I should be able to take it up, you know, a good 50 or 60 meters up like that. And then just take it straight out and see what kind of range we get. So, see you guys in a sec. Alrighty guys, I have 12 satellites and uh, on the Hubson and 8 on the uh, transmitter. Let's go ahead and uh, unlock these motors. We're going to go ahead and start the recording on the ground. We are recording. I have 8.4 volts to start off with. And uh, let's go ahead and take this up. Make sure it's got a good stable lock. It's a barometer calculated there for a second. Looks like it's doing just fine. A little movement, but nothing too crazy. And uh, I think we're ready to go. So let's take it out underneath this uh, power line first. Raise it up a little bit. And uh, let me go ahead and shoot it up really high now. Make sure we miss everything going up. Excellent. All right, I'm going to rely strictly on telemetry. Give me a sec here. I'm going to watch it go up. Make sure that we get high enough above everything. I don't have any problems. Let's see. We're at 45, 46, 47. Let's take it up to 60. There we go. We are at 61 meters. And uh, let's go ahead and take it out. I'm pushing directly forward. It seems to be doing fine. I'm going to watch it up here for a sec. It's going perfectly straight. We have perfect FPV. We are currently at 70 meters, doing just fine, pretty high. I'm gonna get over here by the trunk of my car so I can hopefully cut out some light. There we go. I'm gonna keep watching it. We are going perfectly straight out. We are at 150, 160. Let's see here, 177, doing just fine. 196, still have good FPV. 210, a little windy up there, 225, 230, we made it 300 yesterday, let's go ahead and keep taking this out, I'm going to have to start tilting this controller down because we're getting out there pretty good ways, and there we go, something messed with it, I'm going to go ahead and let off for a sec because it's totally whacked out, 281, let's straighten it out again, it's a little windy up there it looks like, and uh, start pushing forward again, alright, we are going forward again, so I'm guessing that was wind that messed with it. We're at 312, 315, 318, 334, 350. Let's keep on going here. We're doing just fine. 372. Coming up on 400. I'm going to have to tilt the controller down more. Starting to get some fuzziness. 422. So as I suspected, it's getting almost 500 now. Coming up on 460, 471, still have pretty solid FPV, some fuzziness happening. Still getting fuzzy, let's aim the controller down a little bit more. All right, it cleared up a little bit. 518, 526, well, looks like we may just get 600. We will see here. We're coming up on 600. It's getting pretty fuzzy now. This could just be my area, guys. 612, 614, 619 still have FPV. I'm having to tilt the transmitter down lower. We are still riding 61 meters, coming up on 700. Still have pretty solid FPV, guys. I am actually kind of impressed by the new firmware. I'm riding 7.8 volts. We're coming up to 725, 733, 738. It's getting pretty fuzzy. Uh, it's clearing up again. Coming up on 800. All right, 800 meters and still have pretty solid FPV. Not doing too bad. And we just blacked out. 835 meters. All right, guys, I'm going to return to home. Activating return to home. It's thinking about what it's doing. And it's coming back. So, I'm actually very impressed. I still have FPV even coming backwards. It's, uh, it's being tossed around a little bit by the wind, but it seems to be doing all right. 
I'm going to keep watching it here. It seems to be fluctuating. It is coming back. 766, 764. So, 7.8 volts. And uh, we uh, seem to be doing just fine here. It is bouncing around quite a bit up there. It's, uh, obviously, there's some wind. It's getting hit pretty hard. 690. It is coming home, though. As you can see, it's really bouncing around. I don't like that wobbly stuff, guys. I don't know if that's firmware related or not, but most of my return to homes don't have this much uh, bouncing around and fluctuation going on. And that's with the stock FPV antenna still on there. And then the uh, 2.4, upgraded 2.4 SMA, 3 dBi. So we are at 560. It returns so much slower than uh, it used to. I don't understand that. We're at 7.7 .7 volts. So we'll, uh, let's go ahead and speed it up from here, guys. I'll see you in a sec. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and bring it down here. And somebody suggested try Circle Me Fly while uh, using the directional pad. So I'm going to go ahead and hold down Circle Fly and give it a directional path. See if it, uh, the camera did not point at me. All it's doing is rolling right, so that does not work. All right, so, not too bad. Oops, oops, a little bouncy there. Trying to bring it down slow. There was definitely some wind up there, guys, because I'm getting a little bit right here where I'm at. But, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Calm down. <laughs> I have no clue why it does that. That's really annoying that it, uh, and they, like I said, it could be wind. It is a little windy out here right now. Let's go ahead and turn this around. What's up, guys? Hey, hey, hey. So, we got 830 meters of range. Not quite as good as Superflyer, but then again, guys, I was in a pretty, pretty crummy area here. This was not the best, so I'm surprised it got 830 with the uh, stock FPV antenna and the new firmware update. Um, it does fly faster. And uh, altitude holder, it appears to. Let's go ahead and whip it around real quick. You like how that truck was trying to take me out? <laughs> that guy was kind of a D-bag for doing that. Pretty cool, man. So, let's see. Was there anything else I wanted to try out? Let's think about this here. Got another couple trucks coming. It's, uh, you know what, it returned to home. It was kind of jumpy. I'm not sure if that was the firmware or that was the quad itself uh, being hit by wind. It looked like some of the time it was wind, but uh, not too bad. We got another truck coming, let's back up here. <laughs> he gave a wave to me. All right, so it's not, you guys, it's not too bad. I would say for those of you, uh, this is an official Hubson release, so at some point they're going to put it on their page for you guys. I'm going to go ahead and drop a download link below. It's, it's not bad. I have not tried it in altitude hold yet, so let's go ahead. All right, we're in altitude hold. Let's just zoom it around a little bit, see if I like altitude hold. Flies pretty smooth in altitude hold. We'll take it out there a little ways. And turn it around. It's, uh, it's not doing too bad. It looks like they slowed. No, they did not because if you give it full forward pitch, then it, uh... Oops. Oops, oops. <laughs> it's kind of bouncing around there, guys. That's, uh, that's that scary thing that I was telling you guys about. I hate when it gains altitude when you're trying to slow it down. That's a real annoyance that it does that. I was able to recover it there, but that's, uh, still, that's not good. Let's go ahead and put it back in GPS mode. It, uh, it still has that real nasty fluctuation where when you hit the brakes, it decides it wants to just cruise straight up. I don't like that, man, because then it takes away your control abilities. So let's go ahead and land it here. I had my fun. We're not going to land it in the sand. We'll land it on the road. 
All right, guys, what's going on? Just got done with the flight, got up here to uh, my favorite little bar, having a Corona. It's like 85 degrees here in Florida today, so it's like super hot. And uh, I figured, man, you know what? We went flying. Let's go have a beer and talk about this. So I I'm honestly impressed by this new firmware. Um, I'm not quite sure about the return to home glitching that it's doing, but you know, it's I guess it's just uh, something you might have to deal with. I'll keep testing that return to home and see if it gets any better. Um, that was the first return to home I did, and if you guys remember my, my test yesterday, I did it twice, and the second time it returned better. So I don't know why that is. I have no idea. But I think if some of you guys are having range issues out of the box, I will go ahead and just offer all of that firmware below for you guys for download if you want to try it out and test it yourself. I was very surprised we got 830 meters. It didn't quite get as much range as Superflyer, but I think with all the new updates they're coming out with, Superflyer's not really working with some of the newer firmware that they're putting out for the controllers, the transmitters. So uh, we're just going to have to go with that, guys. But uh, I will go ahead and put that link below uh, if you guys would like to download all three of these. I will even include the advanced transmitter. Um, new firmware, the 1.1.6. If you guys want to download that for your transmitter, that's uh, completely up to you. Like I said, all you guys make these modifications and updates uh, yourself. It has nothing to do with me. So, Anyways, guys, I'm going to drink this extremely good-looking cold Corona, and I will see you on the flip. Toodaloo! Give yourself to the dark side.